down the panel given our experiences from around the world. Would you like to start? Well, thank you very much. I think that's a, this is a very relevant question and a very sort of a key question that comes up when we talk about foreign direct investment in any country. And I would say the, the uh, law and order security situation plays an importantly uh, key role these days. So I also start about infrastructure first and we talk from the, from the UAE context. I think UAE has done probably uh, one of the best jobs uh, globally over the last decade or so in terms of providing the top class, world class infrastructure. It's always key, uh, and especially in ASEAN at the moment where there are a lot of conversation on the TPP with the United States. And you, know, you will see that breakdown of conversation when there's no reciprocal, re reciprocal policies. First of all, we have reliable power, electricity. Uh, working in a factory in, in Kerala, we would have power outages four times a day. That's a cost, right? We don't have that here. We have reliable supply of electricity. So perhaps, can, can we try and put some numbers around this? Each of you work for and have worked for some of the leading financial institutions in the world. Each of you have covered markets which can at best be described as challenging. If we found a market which was the perfect market, perfect infrastructure, hard and soft, perfect connectivity for the purposes of the investment between a perfect market and a market which doesn't qualify under your criteria. Can we bring it to life? Uh, we have, however, seen private equity uh, companies from this part of the world also raise a lot of money from here and invest overseas. So we've seen some making investments recently in Africa. Uh, one of the private equity funds from here has gone into Latin America, actually. So it's the other way around. We've seen investment from here, or private equities from here actually investing internationally in some of these markets. 